What up, y'all? I hope you're doing well. We're here for our weekly romance, oracle, and tarot reading. We're just taking a look at the week ahead and seeing where we should direct our focus as it pertains to our love lives. What should we be kind of doing or not doing or leaning into? Is this a week all about us? Are we forgiving and learning? Uh, ooh, flirt, much more fun. I was like, please tell me it's not uh, forgive your parents. <laughs> we love that card, don't we? Um, flirt, yay. Well, I'm in party mode anyway. My birthday is tomorrow, you guys. And then my sister-in-law's birthday is the 22nd. And there's just a lot going on this week for celebrations and fun. And so I have been intending to get out and, and be flirting. So tomorrow night, I'm definitely going to extend my lighthearted energy to others. My, 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 day. I am an Aries. I'm the very last second of Aries on the cusp of Taurus. I'm an Aries sun, Libra rising, Cancer moon, Venus in Gemini. North node Gemini, south node Sagittarius <laughs> at Cray. All of my like big planets like Saturn, Jupiter, all of those, they were in retrograde when I was born. So it's been, it's been a rough one. <laughs> okay, so yay, get out flirt. Have fun, be playful, have open energy. I will say I, that is true because I was at uh, Home Depot earlier and this is how you know I'm an adult. I was really excited to get a gift card to uh, Home Depot for my birthday for my mom because all of my hose pipes outside have busted. Like they're like, nothing is made well anymore. And the metal parts that you screw like the attachments onto and attach them together, they all came off, they popped off. And then the, the hose themselves is like so rigid that if you like, if it moves and it just like busts and cracks. So every time I'd be trying to like water all my plants, there's just like leaks everywhere. So I'd be like drenched in cold water and like have grass stuck to me. And then like the whole yard is flooded and my pants and shoes and feet are wet. I'm sliding around in my flip flops. And now I can finally have a nice gardening experience because I got one of those soft rubber hoses that's like lightweight and easy and fast <laughs> to like wind up. I'm like, oh my God, can't wait to go water my garden tonight. But anyway, while I was at Lowe's, or no, it was Home Depot, it was definitely Home Depot. Uh, there was a really hot dude, a hot man in the um, hose section. And I, you know, was kind of checking him out and we were kind of like in the same area for a minute. And then he was behind me in line and I was like, well, maybe I can kind of like meander and, you know, see if he says hi or anything. And then he had to run out to his car and get his wallet. And then that was the end of it. And so, <laughs> but there was a cute guy at, uh, at Home Depot. I couldn't get a feel of whether or not I thought he was really cute. And so I didn't like initiate conversation. Usually I'm, I'm pretty good at just like dropping a line or something. Okay, chemistry. Uh, obviously, he felt the same. <laughs> uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So yeah, get out and flirt. You yourself are going to be strongly magnetically attractive. Um, I was, I had like, my vibe is turned up. I could tell at the, the ballpark about like how just people were reacting to me and my aura and like the things that they were saying. I'm like, I, I know I'm turned up all the way right now. You know, you've got that birthday power, you know, when you're in your, in your sign. I'm feeling it for sure. And Aries people, they tend to be fiery and flirty and saucy and spicy too. So, like, soak up the rest of that energy before we go into, like, lush, sultry, uh, uh, sensual Taurus. Because uh, it's like, bring that fire straight into that season. But yeah, chemistry, flirt, there's strong and magnetic attraction here. The more joyful and like in a state of fulfillment that you, you're in and you're enjoying yourself and you're free and you're having a good time and you're playful, that makes you so magnetic and so attractive. Not just like in a sexual way, but yes, also in a sexual way, but just to the universe in general, you attract like positive um, opportunities, attention, help, like here, take a sample. Oh, we'll give you the t-shirt right this way, miss, to the front of the line, like kind of thing, you know? 
oh, we'll we'll give you, we'll punch you in and give you the dis the fifteen percent off discount kind of thing. Just be nice to everybody. I was not just flirting with like you know hot men at Home Depot today. I was also very friendly and chatty with all the people that I was seeing everywhere. Little old ladies. Um, medium aged women, <laughs> younger girls than me. I had these girls help me pick out shoes. Let's just flirt with everybody. Making chemistry everywhere. Oh, separation. <laughs> so sad. You might as well flirt because you ain't going to be with anybody special. <laughs> You're alone. <laughs> the time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's just about having fun and being in your own company. I have gotten, like, I've always been that person in my life where I like to spend time with myself. I like to spend time in my imagination. Even as a little kid, like, I would be the kid that wanted to play alone because nobody understood how to really play Barbies. Like, I had complex storylines going on. I had, you know, dramas playing out. There was so many subplots. And it was just like, they were not up to par with my game. And, you know, it was just like, I just enjoyed myself. But I think that <clears throat> the more uh, comfortable that you get in your own company and, and feeling very full and satisfied um, also when you're alone, I think that that raises your magnetism and your attractiveness, I think, um, to others as well, because there's this, there's not like a, a repellent, like the law of attraction, like requires some like letting go and detachment. And if you're too clingy or needy, even, you know, Kabbalah talks about this. If you're a needy vessel, it, it repels. It's not, it's, it, it repels the light because the light is not needy. The light is whole. The light has everything. The light, you know, is completely, you know, is complete. And, and fulfilled. And so, yeah, the thing is, is that in order to truly attract in something that can be healthy and sustaining and, uh, and have, you know, um, air to breathe, you need to be able to be alone in your own company and enjoy that. And, and, you know, people have varying relationships with being alone with themselves. It can vary from like being an introvert who loves being alone with yourself and you need it to like recharge to people who are sort of like, they get too antsy. They don't like it. They get lonely or bored or even terrified because you know, the, the, the negative tape starts and they haven't learned how to, kind of navigate and turn that off, you know, and control that. So some people, it can sound like nothing for someone to tell you to learn to be um, comfortable in your own company and enjoy your own company. Some people are like, I've been do enjoying my own company forever. <laughs> Sick of myself. <laughs> but other people are like, terrified of the thought of it, you know? And I mean, have you ever experienced that person who is like constantly texting you and and you're like, man, I didn't think we were hitting it off that much. And it's really just more about like their own codependency and they, they don't know what to do with themselves if they're not occupied. And so their go-to is to like connect with someone, but it's not from a sense of sharing, right? So it's like even in dating, I, you know, I, I try to, to think about this if I'm before I'm texting or something like that, it's like, am I coming from a place of genuine authenticity and organic and like sharing and fun? Or am I coming from like a neurotic place of give me validation that you're still on the other side? You know what I mean? Like, you know, like when you get that text and it doesn't feel like a, hey, how are you? It feels like a, hey, do you still remember me? And you, even though it doesn't say that, you can, you, it, you feel it. You're like, well, you know, so same, right? With everything in the universe. Uh, so take that into consideration. I'm so thirsty. I had fries. I didn't think fries would come with my chicken tenders. And so then I ordered fries also. And they were like, you want a separate order of fries? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I just went for it. And then it was like, it was a lot of fries. I, I overestimated. Or underestimated, actually. 
All right, one last card out of the Oracle. And then we'll uh, get a little bit more clarity from the Psychic Tarot. All right, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you may be feeling like you have hunches to go somewhere and do something, or you know, maybe you want to join a group or take a class or join a running club. You know, uh, there might be something like that that you feel you've been called to do, like it's been calling you, it sounds like fun, but you just haven't been able to make an effort to do that. That might be a good idea, especially since this is like saying like time apart from your lover is on the horizon. It sounds to me like either like people who are in relationships, like this doesn't seem like a relation, uh, a, a reading for anyone who's like in a relationship. Cause it's like flirt, chemistry, time apart from your lovers on the horizon, make an effort. And unless you're, you're making an effort in your relationship to give each other space, but also come together and flirt to build chemistry. It's a combination of, and I mean that this is definitely good advice for people within a relationship for this reading. It's like, you need the rhythm of coming together, being flirtatious, having a good time, and then having your separate time and coming together and being apart and giving enough space so that you can think about someone and you can consider them in your mind and in your heart and think about why you like them and you kind of have space from them and you miss them and it makes you sort of like reflect back on them. And it's in that reflection that people kind of grow feelings. It's not always like right in the moment of the connection. It's usually in the space between the connections. So don't be afraid to have flirtation, to have a good time, to build chemistry, and then take space and be in separation. Don't be immediately suspicious or worried about the separation. Actually, the separation is your friend. And that might be, you know, the, the most helpful message taken out of these cards. And as far as like helpful advice for even singles too, it's like when you are going into this, the next person that you meet and you know, you're pacing things out, have that rhythm. Don't be like on all the time where you like each other, you build chemistry. And then it's like, immediately into like a honeymoon phase and you burn out fast that way, right? So you need that space for reflection, especially like men do even more so than women. Women can establish a bond like through the connection, but for men, they need the space and they need to reflect on the time that was had and how they felt about it before it really builds chemistry. So relax, enjoy your own space, Part of really good feminine energy too is being comfortable in your own skin and in your own space and being content with yourself and then you're seated in that power and in that fulfillment and then life, the universe comes to you. That's why the Empress is like seated on her like Empress couch. I have an actually, I have an actual Empress couch with similar pillows and I love it. But um, it's like kind of a reminder to like sit back and don't be constantly um, on the uh, pursuit of your goals, your whatever it is, you know. Have some rhythm and, and enjoy some of the divine feminine energy. And, you know, make the effort, right? Sometimes making the effort looks like giving space. Sometimes it takes effort to, to do that because it takes us having uh, security, being secure and having confidence in ourselves and having trust, um, and, uh, and having, you know, the, the ability to entertain ourselves and, and give someone their own space without wanting to check in and say hi, like no texting, no visiting, no, no waving, right? If you're in the same, living in the same house, like no, like going to say like, oh, I just want to come up and give you a kiss, like really give that person the space until they want, they're missing you and they're looking for you and they're coming to get you. Like, where'd you go? That kind of thing. Uh, and then make the effort. We'll get more into this in our tarot cards. 
But I mean, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It's like we're doing the best we can while we are in that time on our own to build ourselves up as our as an individual to, you know, pursue our own interests and our own goals and dreams, but also to learn how to be a better partner, how to have better relationships, how to build um, attraction skills, all of those things, right? Making an effort, making an effort to take good care of yourself, you know, be the best you. Let's get more information on, okay, flirt. So we have challenging times and throat chakra. So challenging times, <laughs> girls challenging times, tribulations. <laughs> so this is five of wands and five of wands is about competition. And the throat chakra is about authenticity and speaking your truth. And so when it comes to flirting, I would say like, and then like making the effort with the separation and, and, the, and the chemistry, I would say that like when it comes to being out in the dating world and flirting and challenging times, right? Five of Wands is competitions, other people like battling for, you know, the same <clears throat> position or resource or attention. It's like, don't, don't compete. You can be yourself, right? But don't start taking on like, other people's behavior to people please or to to compete or to try to you know outshine them or whatever because it looks like it's like desperate energy and you're not being true to yourself and so the throat chakra has come up here to be true to yourself and to and to speak your truth and to be authentic right and so if you're like competing with someone, trying to one-up them, it's like you're not really being relaxed in yourself and you're not being in your truth. You're being exaggerated and then you're competing, you're trying to manipulate a situation. So if you find yourself feeling challenged and like you're in a competitive battle for someone, you know, in flirting or, or for their attention or something, just be you. Relax, don't compete. You can only, like no one else can be your unique you and you can't be them and you don't wanna be them, right? Because it's more attractive when you're you. So, you know, if somebody isn't gonna be like fully all about you, then they're not really gonna be fully all about you with or without that person in the picture anyway, right? So it's just shows you who, you know, who's really for you and who's not, who's really attracted to you and who's not. Now, it doesn't mean that in this world where, you know, you've got dating apps, everybody's like got options and they've got people on back burners if they're on dating apps, I guess, I don't know. Um, and sometimes we exaggerate that in our mind, right? It seems like we always think that everybody has all these options, but then the people that we talk to in real life are like, there are no options. Everyone's insane. <laughs> so, you know, we can build it up in our mind or whatever, but we are in a world where there's other people out there, other people with personality and talent and looks and whatever. So don't hold back. You know, don't, don't play completely coy, make an effort, right? Put your interest out there a little bit. You you can show, you know, your interest without um, chasing someone, right? Uh, and without getting competitive. So don't hold back. Like be be real, be yourself, be true, be, be authentic. If you're liking someone, you think they're cute and you're attracted, then flirt, right? Like use your voice, use your, you know, charms. Um, use what you got in this world that makes you the competitive edge, right? Um, be the best you that you can be by being your full sparkly fun self while you're in the situation with the person, right? But when there's space in between, let that space be there. And when they're starting to think about you and ruminate, that's when they're going to be like, oh, yeah, that was not, oh uh, yeah. And that space is going to make you more attractive because then they're going to be coming towards you rather than the other way around. See what I'm saying? If you're going after them, they're, they're going to be, you know, easing, you know, inching back, right? 
So be the full self. You don't have to be something that you're not or be aloof or like cool or standoffish. Like be your true self when you're hanging out with people, like if you're on a date or, you know, hanging out, meeting up. Um, but in the meantime, apart from that, like just give it space. Let the, let the space be there and show interest. Um, but you don't have to be the one making all the effort. Uh, especially if you're the feminine. Like I just feel like if feminines are pursuing masculines, they like it because it makes them feel good in a temporary way, but they don't value that person. They don't value that feminine. They feel like the, that, that feminine is a masculine and then it starts to emasculate them. And it's like, it's not, they, I don't know. It's like that whole like push pull thing we were just talking about. So it's just chemistry. This is how electricity works. Like <laughs> it just is what it is. It doesn't matter like how modern times and, oh, this is 2024, you know? It's like, I think we've gone past that trying to argue with like nature <laughs> because of like women's lib. And I think we're all starting to just realize like nature actually works really well. And it takes so much more effort to go against nature. <laughs> it's like, I don't have the energy to go against nature anymore. All right, let's get more insight on chemistry. What more do we need to know about building chemistry? Building, buildings, chemistry. Here we've got more wands. Ooh, take the lead. So three of wands. It's like ships coming in, uh, new horizons to be explored, um, the beginning stages of like setting out from your comfort zone. So yeah, I think that this, this, this pull today, all these cards are trying to encourage us to like get out of our shell, come out of your shell, put yourself out there, like take the lead, um, you know, the merchant ships are gathering in traditional tarot and they're coming in. The ships are coming in and the person, um, the hero is standing on the shore uh, on a cliffside, like looking out at these merchant ships, thinking about like, wow, you know, it, it broadens the vision and the scope of the imagination to see what's beyond what we've been, you know, what we've known, you know, up until now. And that person also, it looks like they might be ready to like catch one of those ships and go out on their own journey, you know, from, um, and leave home. But either way, like new experiences are coming in, new flavors, you know, new things that we haven't tried. So I think this is really cool. And it's like, take the lead. So it's like, you know, the, the three of wands also talks about potential collaborations or like the, the two of wands talks about like parts coming together successfully for collaborating. And then like the next, Step, the three of wands is like, okay, it's the beginning of success and things are starting to go really well. So it may be that there are like, when you get out there, you put your energy out there, you open yourself up, people are going to find you really attractive. And, and you know, you've got all kinds of like hope to think that this will go well for you. So don't be afraid of rejection. It'll happen for sure. People, you know, we're not for everyone, uh, but it's no big deal. It's like not the end of the world. Just get over it completely, instantly. Just keep moving. All right, separation. What is this about? Like this is like inching out. Ooh, okay, crown chakra. <clears throat> so divine inspiration and believe and succeed. So I think that this is confirming what we were talking about, about how the, the separation gives space for like the person to think about the person and have revelatory insight about how they're feeling, right? Their, their mind starts to connect with their heart and that bridge starts to be built. And then they start to have like visions of moments together and then maybe visions of like things to come and, and all of that. So that's when you give the space. And six of wands is like victory and acknowledgement and being like recognized for something in a successful way. And so this is like, believe in yourself, have confidence, like 
people are attracted and they want, you know, they, they, you're desirable. They want to, you know, date you. They want to approach you. They want to talk to you and flirt and communicate, have chemistry. Um, but yeah, it's just about having the enough confidence that when someone shows you their interest and they, they pull away or they have, they, you know, they're, they go off the radar for a day or like, a, you know, a few hours, like don't panic. It's, it's nothing. It's just like, people are just like out busy <laughs> and they're probably thinking about you in the background. So don't get high strung, just believe and have confidence and move on with your day. You'll hear from them soon. And if you don't, then <laughs> that wasn't the one. <laughs> this was not your soulmate. Okay. Make an effort. So thirsty. For my birthday, my mom got me a really cool, um, like watercolor of a snow owl, a snowy owl. Remember the other day I was telling you guys about my sign for the, the, the thing I was doing, it was like an owl and the owl came and hung out with me while I was gardening and there's been other owl stuff, but then she gave me this, she didn't know about that. And I was like, Oh my God, this is a frame. So I've got it like hung up on my wall next to my couch, next to this, this picture I got from work of this like headshot of this uh, man acting out in this movie, this character Sinbad, he's like in this very like uh, Middle Eastern clothing, but I love it. He's like in harem pants is how I'm looking at it now, but I'm like obsessed with him. And then, so I'd put him up at work and then, I don't know, they just told me to bring him home. And I was like, but I love him. I just, I, I love him. I'm gonna put him in my living room. <laughs> it's like, I like to see him at work. And they were like, hey, we can't have him here. It's a health code thing. So I was like, okay. I'll bring him home. I'm glad. They could have just hung him back up on the wall. <laughs> they were like, here, just take him home. I'm like, hey, good. I love him. Um, okay, strengthening bonds. So making the effort is like, it's like almost like the same, same card. So this is Ace of Pentacles. Make the effort like new opportunities are coming to meet people and make new friends and maybe even grow your friend circle or even join in new circles. But all kinds of new love um, and community could be coming in, not just love opportunities. Uh, but when these do present, you know, make yourself open and available to them. Uh, don't get in tunnel vision and let them pass you by, right? It would have been easy to be in a hurry today and in Home Depot and be crabby about a bunch of stuff that I was already crabby about this morning and like not see the cute dude, right? And all kinds of other cute dudes that's all today. It was a really fun day for cute dudes, Sam. And you know, you got to stop and appreciate and smell the roses, right? And if you're going to flirt and be open, you can't have tunnel vision. You've got to kind of be up and looking around and not on your phone and, you know, be willing to flirt and check people out and make an effort and, you know, make, make bring it into the physical, right? Where we get so um, complacent about physicality in this these modern times because everything is like, on apps and on, you know, electronic devices and on our phones and on our computers. And it's like, people are starting to forget that you can approach people in the physical material world and you don't have to approach them through social media or a dating app. And so, yeah, don't forget that you can approach people in person. And it's probably, it'll give you that much more edge and charisma because so many people now are just so shy to talk to people in person. So you'll seem like amazing <laughs> just because you have like, uh, you can function as a human being. Ay, ay, ay. All right, you guys. Well, have a flirty, fun week. Um, I hope you're out there making an effort and feeling confident, uh, when you are, uh, in a spacious moment with yourself and taking apart from the person you're interested in, having confidence that, that space is positive and it leads to more growth and not less many times. So, um, I mean, there's caveat, there's like exceptions to that, you know, if there's like too much space and it's avoidance, but in the beginning space allows for uh, more fire, I think. I eat y'all. I'll see you tomorrow for our weekend uh, reading. I am, 
more than likely I will do the, the message tomorrow. But if I don't, it's because it's my birthday and I just got really busy and I never had time. So I will maybe see you tomorrow, um, hopefully. And if not, then wish me happy birthday. All right, y'all. Ciao.